Hello and good Monday, February 11th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. The top story today is invariably anonymous. Let's recap. Remember now? First you have the Scientologists, including Tom Cruise, John Travolta, Lisa Marie Presley and Sonny Bono. Rest in peace, Sonny. Then over here you've got the bloggers who believe in free speech and say pretty much anything. Well, the bloggers started saying some stuff that the Scientologists didn't like very much, which, funnily enough, was what the Scientologists had said in the first place. Taking freedom of speech quite seriously, Anonymous struck out against the Scientologists, generating international news for both organisations while also generating a great deal of entertaining content. In particular, protesters staged events at Scientology churches all over the world. Rocket Boom field correspondents were there. Let's head over now to Washington DC to hear from RB field correspondent Andy Carvin. You there, Andy? I'm in Washington, D.C. in DuPont Circle, where a group of around 100 protesters have gathered outside the Church of Scientology here. Scientology, what are you scared of? We are out here. We want you to come talk to us. We will not harm you. We will not bother you. We just want to talk. Knowledge is free. Knowledge is free. John Coffey was based in Philadelphia. John? Hey there, Joanne. Greetings from the city of brotherly love. We've got our little protest group lining up in the back. Let's take a look and see what goes on for the rest of the day in Philadelphia. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do while I'm not accomplishing things. Yeah. This is not about the personal beliefs and ideas of Scientology and the people who practice it. This is about the ethics that the management and the people in charge of Scientology practice. This is for Lisa McPherson and everyone else who's died at the hands of Scientology. We are anonymous and we're protesting the illegal actions of Scientology Church. We have no problem with their beliefs in and of themselves, but we don't want to uh, support their illegal activities any further. Let's also now go to Boston to hear from Rocket Boom Field correspondent Steve Garfield of stevegarfield.com. Steve? Hey Joanne, this is Steve Garfield. And we're here in Beacon Street, and it's cold and rainy, 37 degrees, and snow is expected. And surprisingly, there's like over 150 people here on four street corners protesting the Church of Scientology, which is that big building over here. So let's go through and see if we can talk to some people. Here's some people videotaping. Hey, I'm, I'm videotaping this. Can I talk to you? Okay, so can you tell me what your name is, what you're doing here My today? My name is Anonymous, and I'm protesting against Scientology. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Uh, Anonymous. Excellent. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Woo! John Smith from yesterday. John Smith, how you doing? Happy you you're coming out again. Oh. You got a chant going? Anybody from the church coming out? I'm doing a, I'm doing a video. Anybody from the church coming out to talk today? No? Nope. Okay. And here's what was happening elsewhere. Everyone hates me! Everyone hates you! 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 So I guess that's what it looks like when the Digital Swarm Anonymous actually manifest, either directly or indirectly, in 3D physical form. What will be next for Scientology? Will they succumb to pressure and fold? Will we find out the truth behind why the government granted tax benefits? Will people start talking about Waco? What will be next for Anonymous? Who will emerge next? Will Ron Hubbard ride the next meteorite head of planet Earth? Will we be proved wrong? Will the Scientology eventually rule the world? Will parents the world over see the light and stop giving their children windows?